Let's talk about Spirit Airlines. I love the <laughs> I, I love the, the title. No, Spirit Airlines wasn't using duct tape in the online video. It was FAA approved speed tape. So if you haven't seen, um, there was a viral video. Yeah, it was some worker putting speed tape you know, on the wing. It might, you know, you know and, and I love this is the this is the downside of social media is every knucklehead passenger can can get on in, in a video and go, this is why I don't fly Spirit Airlines because they're duct taping down the wing. You know, they're duct taping the wing. And it's like, well, let's call time out here. You, know, you talk about the 5,000 people that built their jets, you know, in Wichita, Kansas. All the people that designed and engineered those airplanes, all the people that at the FAA who worked to certify them, and here you come with your knucklehead opinion and you say, because you don't like your competitor's product, you say, oh, you have to denigrate it in some way. And I think, you know, this is the problem with social media. So, you know, so when you get on there and, and you, you say you know, a negative comment about Spirit Airlines, you've just denigrated all the, you know, all the people that maintain Spirit's airplanes, you know, you know, all the people who work on them, fly on them, the entire company, the FAA who monitors the safety of the airlines. And, oh, by the way, I have not seen – yeah, I have not seen a mishap that Spirit Airlines has had in like ever. Um, you know, so yeah, I sit there and I think about the two pilots up in the up in the cockpit. They're not going to take an unsafe airplane. Yeah, speed tape is a well known, you know, is a well known you know, device for a temporary repair. Do you know? Do you? Do, I don't. I didn't read the story too too closely, but do you know what they were? What or what do you think they were fixing? Or what? They, what is speed tape usually used for? Yeah, look, yeah, you see the Hawkeye in the back. You see the Hawkeye in the back, you know, uh, of you know, on the in the on the wall behind me. And we used to use speed tape. Yeah, you know, we had a you know our de-icing boots had, a, you know, were notorious for you know you know separating from the airplane. You know, and you know one time we were taxiing to the catapult, and one of the de-icing boots separated from the airplane. We still had to go launch, and our maintain. Our maintainers came out and they they you know, speed tape, but we laughed like, thank God for speed tape. And they, they taped the de-icing boot to the wing and, you know, we launched. Five hours later, we flew back, we trapped and, you know, life, life was good. Yeah, what does it do? Yeah, what does it do? You maybe have a faster, maybe you have a cowling faster that failed somewhere or broke. And, you know, you want to, you know, you want to make a temporary repair to get the airplane, you know, to get the airplane launched. It's, you know, it's nothing. It's a, it's a, it's a big nothing burger and, and. And to that point, like whether you're a big commercial airlines or you're a pilot or mechanic that has to make yeah. that call, like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, because mm -hmm. I'm sure those passengers at Spirit would have been equally as pissed off if they were like, sorry, guys, you can't fly right now. Yeah. We have to cancel or delay the flight. Yeah. yeah. And, and I remember reading another article. It was like some guy was uh, he was flying. It was an RV-211 engine on a 757. He said he saw some smoke or something. And he's like, he yeah, told the flight attendant and the flight attendant yeah, is like, yeah, we got two pilots up here who are much more qualified than you to determine <laughs> whether the airplane is safe to fly. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Go take your seat. If you don't like it, you know, get off the airplane. Yeah, that's yeah. The customer's not always right, especially when it comes to when it comes to things like that.